Hey friends, I'm Mark from The Spark. Welcome back to another video. Well, this video is part of a series where I'm taking the Kindle Scribe and I'm working my way through all of its functions, all of the settings, and hopefully will be helping you get the more out of this amazing device. So this video might be for you if you've just purchased one of these, you might be thinking about buying one of these, or indeed you might be a seasoned veteran, in which case there may be one or two things that you don't yet know, but watch the video and find out. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna check out templates. Okay, I'll open up my Kindle Scribe and I'll go to Notebooks and we will create Notebook. And we are presented with a number of templates. Now, the Kindle Scribe doesn't have that many templates to choose from, not when you compare it to something like the books or the super note, things like that. I mean, for the majority of people, a lot of these uh, templates will be good enough, but maybe, just maybe, you want that little bit more functionality from your Kindle. Well, the good news is you can buy templates from external sources and import them to use on your Kindle. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So for the moment, we put aside our Kindle Scribe, and we get to our computer, in my case, my iPad. Hopefully you can see that. Now you can buy templates from many different kinds of places, but the one I generally uh, jump to is Etsy. It's just simple to buy them, download them, and pop them on my Kindle. So search for anything. So go to the top here, search, just search for Kindle Scribe. That's essentially it really. And then you're presented with many, many, many uh, different kinds of uh, templates. So daily journal, a mindful relaxing tracing book, uh, 40 plus planners, uh, sticky notes, product. There's, there's so many. Go visit, have a look and find the perfect one for you. For this particular video, I found this daily planner here. So very simple, £7.97, we've got 50% off at the moment. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just found this here. So what we got here, we got a daily planner, um, customizable, choose your layouts, uh, Sunday, Monday, start 12 hour, 24 hour, right or left-handed, awesome, hallelujah. Different translations available. But if we go through here, what you'll begin to see what's different from a template on here is that you can tap it and be sent to, for example, here, if, if you tap one of these here, if you go into the next one here, it will take you to a dedicated notes page. So this is weekly targets, so tap that there, you'll go to a weekly notes page, uh, monthly note calendar and notes, daily notes. Thing. So there's quite a lot going on here, which is a bit more, there we go, a little bit more of an effort than just the simple templates that are on here. So let's buy this uh, and then load it onto my Kindle and I'll show you how. Okay, so thanks for my order. Uh, I will then, I can view the details of my order on here. It tells me what it is here. Okay, now, in a particular one, if you download it here, it gives you the Daily Planner Classic PDF, but actually if you open it up, it doesn't actually give you the, the file itself. It tells you where to access it, but we should have been emailed the file or at least a link to the file. So here we are. We've been re received it here, so we can customize and download this particular template. This is why that didn't work. We have to customize a document for the thing that we want. So, do you want Monday start? Yes, and I'm a right-handed user. So we've got here uh, how we want this to look. So going across, going down, or more boxed. We'll keep it with the horizontal one for now. So done, there we are. Monthly calendar view. So we can have a large calendar, one with notes, rows, or free form. Well, I quite like that one, so we'll have that. And then the weekly planner. Again, we can have vertical columns. Columns B, another choice. Or indeed in a grid. Let me just go back to vertical, see what we have there. Quite like the vertical, so we'll click done. And the daily plan part of this, let's have a look. 24 hour, generally use those. Early start, <laughs> so it goes from five to seven or nine. So let's just do regular uh, tasks with schedules and reminders. Schedule only or tasks only. I think I quite like that one. So we'll click done. 
We can even change the style of it. Oh, that's the cover. So we can change the cover. And go back to that. Your device doesn't support coloured themes. Okay, that's all right. Preferences. Monday start, Ryan, dotted or lined. Yeah, we've done that. And then we can generate our planner. So this is one way of really customizing your template that you want by using this particular system. There are other templates you simply download, transfer them to your Kindle, and they work. So it's ready to be generated. So we'll generate it. And we can download it. Okay, it works in Safari. So there we go. That's my generated planner for 2025. Let's now get this thing onto my Kindle. Well, first thing we'll do is just save it to my files. And I'll just save it to downloads, daily planner version one. And if I go into here, downloads, daily planner version one. There we are, brilliant. There's three ways of getting this onto my Kindle. The first one is I can email it to my Kindle. And if you go into your settings, you will, for your account, here we go. Oh, I will blur this out because I don't want you all sending stuff to my Kindle. But send to Kindle email. So you can simply send the document, the PDF, to that email address. Or you can transfer it via a computer. So I've got one here now. It doesn't work happily with iPads, unfortunately. But there we go. Plug it into here. We will allow that to connect. And you can see here, connect to computer. So if I now go to Finder, and we've got the Daily Planner, I can see it right here. So, send to Kindle. I've got the app, send to Kindle app on my computer. Opening up. I can now simply just drag the file across here. I can even tell it which which one I want it to go to. And uh, this, this is called Define. Um, Colorsoft is my other Kindle here. I can give it a different title as well. So why don't we give it um, Daily Planner 2025. There we go. And we will send. Upload complete. The third way, if you want to do that, by the way, is to go to, it even tells you here on this thing, Amazon Send to Kindle. As long as you're logged in, it's on your account, you can drag your files onto here and that will go to your appropriate Kindle. So that's the third way of doing it. But the easiest, connect to your computer, download that, uh, use the Send to Kindle app uh, that you can find in the App Store and drag it across that way. Okay, editing mark here. I've just realized there is a fourth way, particularly if you own an iOS device or iPadOS, to get your uh, file from the Files app onto your Kindle. So here I'll do a screen record of my iPad and I'll show you how to do that. All right, just go to where you've stored the file. In this case, downloads. I've changed the name here to fourth way to send to differentiate it from Daily Planner 2025. If we then tap what is effectively the right hand button on your mouse, uh, tap the share button there, share sheet, get open the share sheet, and here we go, tap Kindle. You can change your name here if you want. You can even change the author name and change the layout, although I would just leave it as is. And then just tap send and I've toggled that add to your library so it'll be available on all uh, the Kindle devices that I have but obviously it's an easy way to get it onto your Kindle scribe. I'll tap library here on the Kindle app and there we are it's already arrived fourth way to send. You can even open it on this device if you want to. Another dead easy way of getting the file from your computer or iPad in this case onto your Kindle scribe. Back to me. Now I'll turn it on, put my passcode in. Okay, now it won't appear straight away in your library. You may need to wait a few minutes, but I have indeed waited a few minutes and here we are. The Daily Planner has shown up on my Kindle Scribe. Here we go. Swipe across, touch with your um, finger up with the stylus. And there we are. We can hide that. We can tap these things and there's just so much you can do that's it's just a bit more interactive go straight to the calendar if you want to there go back to the overview in fact we can do that we can do annual plan 
important dates that you've put in there. Go back. Um, quarter view. So you can just go into so much more granular um, detail of, of, of what you want to do if you plan it or whatever other kind of template you put in. They generally have uh, loads of cool stuff in there. And you can just write in it. It's just a PDF essentially, but a fancy PDF with loads of nice links to it. So to-do list, um, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And um, it will, you know, you can do what you need to do and you can go forwards and backwards, easy custom sections on each one. There you go, it goes back to it and then back to, then eventually we get to to-do lists. Anyway, there's so many options you can choose from, like I say, in a, um, on a website like Etsy. It's just that simple to download it onto your Kindle. So send it via the email, use the Center Kindle app on your computer, or uh, use the browser, uh, the Center Kindle browser, and you can just drag and drop it onto the browser. So there are three easy ways of getting them on there. Now, what you do have to be aware of is that it's never going to appear in your um, notebook. It's not going to appear here. It's not going to appear in this bit. It's always going to be in your library because it's essentially a PDF and it's going to show up there. So it's under documents. So I don't know if you saw that I did that. There we are. So that's how you get a really useful um, loads of extra fancy templates onto your Kindle and start to use them. And they're all tappable and scrubbable uh, uh, and everything like that. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please do like it, like I wrote down there, and subscribe to the channel. And in fact, if you want to support the channel, you can tap the join button below. Or if you want to buy me a regular coffee, you can, you can scan this QR code here or use the link in the description box below. So that's it for this one. Um, if you go over here, you'll be able to look at the playlist that I'm putting together of all these kind of how-to videos to do with the Kindle Scribe. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.